Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's have a look. Tricky this, isn't it? I don't want to do it wrong. Do you see? Oh, hi, there I am. Oh. Uh-huh. Yes, now I can see <coughs> I can see a little red dot. Is that straight? Oh that you are the swing of a star carry me home in a jar. Oh little rough Um uh, I'm just going to turn my radio off the computer. Oh, wait a moment. Uh, over here is a mirror. Can you see that? Mm. Oh, I'll be back. It's not the thing. Right, I'm sorry about that delay. You know, photography can be um, tricky. Okay. Susie keeps coming in here, don't you? Do you want to say hello to the people? Come on. Come and say, up. Oh, 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 oh. oh she jumped right in my... There she is. Say hello to the camera. Can you speak? Say hello. Hello. There's a camera, look. There's Susie. <laughs> mm. Put her down. She'd love to be with her daddy. There. Oh, God. I feel a bit tired today. We've had three weeks of... Um, Three weeks of um, warm weather. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, I'm tired. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a razor. Yes, no. I'm going to pretend the camera is not even there. That's the best way. Because um, when people make movies, they they then shoot thousands of feet of film because it's all digital now. So it's, there's no actual tape, as far as I know. But they they shoot hours and hours and hours of um, of a, a movie. And most of the creative process takes place in the um, editing room, in the cutting room. Well, I haven't got into that. All I know is that it's a, it's a little camera there. And uh, it's, it's enough for me to just work the camera. Um, you understand, I'm getting on. I'm born 1939. And I get a bit tired. I keep starting little projects. I keep opening up new new um, email accounts, and my, I get really confused. I've got I think I want to have eight or nine email accounts, and I've got different email accounts for different purposes. But um, um, yeah, I've got two that, that I use mostly all the time. One from like up one stuff and 
Yeah, that one is hot. Now I'm going to shave. It's not. I'm going to do a drink of water because I like to do a little bit of singing, but my, my throat is a bit dry. So can you bear with me? I'm just won't be a moment. I just um I'm just going to get a drop of water. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got the water. My throat gets dry, and I do love to have a little sing. But this camera is on the opposite side of where the mirror is, and I'm not too sure if how this is going to work out. And I don't want it to show too much of my body because I'm not yeah yeah I've got this camera it's 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 stuck on the wall with kind of a suction cap um, the controls are round there round the back and I've got a, a camera here which has got a it's got two screens one on the back and one on the front so I can actually see um, here there's yeah, there. There's a to the left, to the uh, side of the lens. There's a small LCD picture. It's about one inch square, and on the other side of the camera, there's a full size. So it does help you to know whether you're actually yeah. This is what you call a smart camera. I've got several cameras. Anyway, um, oh, as I say, three weeks of extremely hot weather and few mosquitoes. But the last couple of days, there's been these midges that been, and I've been. I wear shorts most of the time in the summer, of course, but my ankles are really swollen and I've been bitten, and I'm dying to get in that cold shower. But first, I must have this shave. I just don't know how to do this. I don't know how to love him. He's a man. La -da -dee 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 -dee. He's just a man. That comes from a show called a Chess. I took my niece Connie to see that in the 80s. Chess. You wouldn't think uh, you wouldn't think you're the right to make a musical um, about chess, but nice music. Uh, I think Barbara Page and Di Diane Barbara Dixon and Elaine Page. That's right, Elaine Page. Elaine Page. Now she does this um, two-hour thingy, two-hour um, uh, every Sunday afternoon. She does. Music from the musicals because she's a good singer and she's now up, but she's a very good presenter, Elaine Page. Oh, 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 the water's a bit hot. And just sing in rain, just sing in rain. Oh, what a glorious. Oh. Yes, it's been raining now for about one day. Watch the tennis, the Australian Open has been on the last two weeks. First week there's quite a lot of rain in, in Rolling Garris, Paris. Lots of rain delays. Yesterday's semi-finals. First one was between um, Djokovic and uh, Nadal. Very good match. Very good match, and uh, going to watch the set. Going to watch the uh, the final today. The latest singles, which is between 
Maria Sharapova and um, Serena Williams. Maria Sharapova, she's now 26, and I believe Serena Williams is 31. Should be a good match. Maria Sharapova says that, uh, <laughs> little Susie, she's lost many times. So she's going to try and play differently. She said it's the only way she's got any chance. So she's just, obviously what she's done in the past hasn't worked. So she's going to try different tactics. Right, Susie? Susie's my little dog. She's lovely. Aren't you, Susie? Aren't you a lovely girl? She's very good. Oh, um, I, she loves to swim. And, uh, took her to the river two days ago, threw the stick in as usual. She dives in, swims like mad to get the stick. And that happened twice, no problem. Uh, the third time, something happened, which at the time I didn't analyse what it was because she, she seemed to be panicking for some reason. She swam very quickly back and ran off down the track. I wouldn't come back, wouldn't respond to my calls, which is unusual because she's very obedient. So I, I walked, I, I didn't get, I never get cross with her. She's so lovely, lovely dog. But anyway, I realized it, it must have been something in the water. I wondered whether there was a fish that tickled or even tried to catch her leg or something. Because I remember now that she did kind of have some kind of little fright in the water. Now, I didn't at the time realize what it was. But anyway, um, so I, she's very, usually very cautious. It took a long time to get her convicts to go in the water. So, so I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think you can see much of me. Oh, no. No, I think you can see, yeah, I think you can now see a little bit. Yeah, it's very difficult. If, if I do another one, I'll, I'll do it a bit better so you can, so you can see me better. Oh. There's another that explains me, that struggles, and delights me, oh no. It's just, I, got, I hate that when, when your water runs down your chest, you know, you know, it's not nice. It gets in your belly button then, that, doesn't it? So I'm going to hold the flannel there like that. Hold the flannel there. This is very difficult to talk to you and shave, it really is. <laughs> So let's be quiet for a minute. So it's been hot for three weeks. High, from the mid-twenties mid to the high-twenties. Very hot at night. The house building's gone very well. Looks like a new house. To me, it looks like it's worth the double. Yeah. Very nice. Just 
rather nice, isn't it? That when I'm dead and buried, you'll still be able to watch this. Immortalised. Immortalised by the camera. I think it's wonderful. I love old movies. Really old movies, either silent ones or black and white. You see th things that have changed. You see old pictures of London, 1940s. You had, in London, you had the uh, trolley buses, the tram lines, all gone. It's in some of the early movies, you see all the, all the uh, horse and carts. London was jammed. Mm. So, um, if nobody bothers to make home movies, there'd be a lot of history lost. You can look at this in maybe 500 years time and see the way I'm shaping with an old fashioned razor, like this. One day I'm sure there'll be just a cubicle you go in and you stick your face in as some kind of a receptacle and it just blasts your hair off. And they'll, they'll look at this in 500 years and they won't be able to that man standing there with, with a razor. Technology, all the time, in, in my lifetime. Technology. We got our first TV when I, in about 1955, paid for the deposit was paid for because it was quite common then to rent a TV because they were expensive, they also went wrong quite often, not very reliable. So we, the first TV. I said to Dad, oh, I was in hospital, I've been in there six months. I said, oh, can we get a TV one? Can we get a telly one? When I, and it, Dad said, can't really afford it, uh, Bob. Uh, I had money saved up in the post office savings account. So I said, I said no, I'll pay the deposit. So that's how, that's how we got our TV. You had to put three three months down, which I, I think I gave Dad twelve pounds. And ten years later, he died in a car crash. Life can be so taken away so suddenly. One day, every you're here, next day is gone. My poor sister died. Only 44. And my dear niece also died quite young. Life is full of tragedy. But human beings have the capacity to, to get on with life and keep going. I think it's amazing. During the war, it was so difficult to find accommodation. We were rehoused a couple of times, and we, I spent some weeks in the children's home, and also we were in a old-fashioned Victorian workhouse for a few nights. Parents were separated. Really such difficult times. I look back now and I, I thank God that I got really good health. The only, the only thing I've got wrong with me now is um, irritable bowel syndrome, chronic fatigue syndrome, acute kidney disease, and uh, osteoporosis. Apart from that, I'm 100% fit. So it's marvellous, isn't it? Okay. Don't know whether you can understand any of this, but I do this for my own pleasure. But I've got five kids, and maybe one day they'll would like to see.